My name is Andy Couturier, and I'm with TheOpening.org. It's a center for courses in writing here in Santa Cruz, California, also the greater Bay Area, as well as online classes. Uh, and I'm going to share with you an exercise that you can use uh, to have fun with writing and actually perhaps access your subconscious mind and maybe bring a little bit more playfulness to the writing process. Um, it's from my book, Writing Open the Mind. Uh, it's actually 10 years in print this year. And uh, this one is called The Genre Smorgasbord. Uh, and you can use this for anything uh, at all. You could be exploring a topic in your life. You could be working on an essay for school. You could be exploring uh, something politically. Um, you could even be working on a piece of fiction and then use some of this. So uh, I want to start with uh, encouraging you to choose a topic or a title or something and then just jot that down. Um, if you want to pause the video for a second and do that, uh, go ahead. So um, yes, you could just watch this video and not do the exercise, but it's great to actually do it and learn and in your own experience, see what it's like. Um, a lot of people buy books of writing exercises, never do them. And it's a little entertaining for a while, but you really uh, will get a lot by actually doing it. Okay, so got your topic. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do five chunks of writing. Um, each of them will be five minutes in length. Now, if you don't have a lot of time, you want to cut it down to three, that's fine. Uh, and you're going to bring the topic, stay on the same topic, but you're going to bring it through the prism or the refracting lens of a different genre of writing. Now, I want to say something about the word genre. Genre is usually like poetry, fiction, nonfiction, and I want to just really bring that uh, much broader out. So a genre of writing could be a limerick, a genre of writing could be uh, over the top new age hype, it could be he said, she said, it could be uh, murder mystery, it could be uh, feminist literary criticism, uh, could be cereal box copy, could be a greeting card, all of those are genres of writing. So what I'm going to do is um, give you the three basic rules of free writing. I'm going to give you the five different genres you're going to use, and I'm going to give you some instructions on how to do this on your own. Okay, so uh, what are the three basic rules of free writing? Keep the pen moving. Don't read back. Don't scratch out. So uh, the not reading back, not scratching out is about not, in, not uh, triggering that evaluative part of your brain and uh, getting that critical voice going. So I sometimes encourage if you're doing this on a laptop, you could um, just turn the brightness down on your uh, screen so that you can't actually even see the words that you're typing. That helps sometimes. Um, but again, just write forward, don't stop. Um, I'm gonna teach this as if it was a 25 minute exercise and again, you could shorten it down to 15 minutes. Um, Okay, so what you do is uh, you're going to choose, um, well, I'm going to give you five genres, but later on in this video, you're going to have a list of different genres, so if you want to choose a different one. But you want to have them uh, set up in advance, and you have a timer, and you stay on your topic, whatever your topic is, and you write for five minutes on that topic, but in that genre. Then... When your timer goes off, you stop right where you are, maybe you don't even finish the sentence, skip a line, and then write another five minutes on your same topic, as much as you can in that five minutes, but on that different, uh, in that different genre. And then again, when the five minutes goes up, go on to the third genre. So what, is, what are those genres? Let me give you um, three that you can play with here. Um, I always do this on the fly here. Uh, so number one is letter of complaint. So whatever that means to you, uh, you stay on your topic and you write it as a letter of complaint. Okay, the uh, next one is a to-do list. So uh, five minutes of to-do on your topic. So you're staying with the same topic. Uh, number three is a trashy romance. Five minutes on that. And um, number four is surrealist play. 
And if you don't know a surrealist play, it's okay. Just make it up. Um, and the last one is a dream text. The last one is a dream text. So um, you have five chunks of writing, and each one takes five minutes. And when it's up, you're done. Uh, now let me say a little bit about the genesis of this and maybe why it'll be powerful uh, once you're done. The idea is that you are juxtaposing different types or styles of writing next to each other without transition. And by doing so, you leave a little bit of empty space between them. Now, to tell you the truth, this is based uh, in Japanese and Chinese aesthetics, uh, asymmetry. Uh, and I'm going to give a talk later on that. But uh, for now, and it's actually, if you go to theopening.org, there's an article on the instructor page, uh, which details that, and you can take a read of it. And the idea is, is that if you have these dissimilar but non-opposite types of writing, so the to-do list juxtaposed against the uh, dream text, um, the space between them will cause the mind of the reader and your mind to try to make the connections themselves. And that will induce a lot of creativity on the part of the reader. And perhaps in certain cases, if you're lucky, some uh, altered states of consciousness. No promises there, but I have seen it happen. And the idea is, is that you're not, and here's a key thing that we always work with in our classes, is you're not forcing your reader to have a single pre-digested spoon-fed opinion or idea that you, the writer, have pre-decided, but that actually you're opening up a theater for them to think about uh, the topic in their own way as they put together the different parts. Okay. Um, in a little bit, you'll be able to see some of the different genres you can choose from, but you can just use these five. I really want to encourage you to try this exercise. And also, I want to encourage you to go on over to our website at theopening.org. Take a look at our course offerings. Take a look at our philosophy. I've um, been teaching courses now uh, in writing for 18 years, and I'm really excited about sharing this with other people. Uh, you can sign up for our email update list, and you can find out about retreats. We have a lovely retreat in the Santa Cruz Mountains three or four times a year, um, one-day workshops, online classes uh, for people who live far away uh, from Northern California, and also writing tips. Okay, again, uh, the website is theopening.org, and I'm Andy Couturier. Thanks a lot. Bye.